Hello everyone, this is JV back again and in this vlog, we are going to have another episode of What's Your Pre-Med? So if you guys are new to my channel, I am JV and I'm a first year medical student from St. Luke's Medical Center, College of Medicine, William H. Quasha Memorial. Yes! If you guys are new to this series as well, this series talks about pre-medical courses. This series aims to help those who are currently in senior high school decide which pre-med is best fit for them and for those of you who are currently in university or college, the videos should help you maximize the potential of your pre-medical courses in terms of applying to medical schools or surviving medical school itself. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, then just don't dislike it. In today's episode, we are going to have one of the more popular pre-med courses or I mean at least in the metro or at the very least in New Pidaleman. We are going to have Catfell talk about psychology as a pre-med course. Are you guys excited? Let's go! Hi Catfell! Hi JB! How are you? Okay, no. Quarantine. That's true. Um. Okay. So before we start, um, please introduce yourself, Muna. Um. Hi. I'm Katrina Feliciano. I'm a first year med student, and I study in Saint Luke's. Okay. So let's go on now with the what's your pre med questions. The first question is going to be basic lang. What's your pre med and saan ka nag pre med? Um. I my pre med psych, BS psych, and I took it in UPD. Okay, so what's the most common track for your course if not med? Um, if not med, most people either they go HR, so they work corporate, or they take masters in psych, so they go into clinical psychology. Okay, so um, did you know that you were gonna go to med na before choosing the course? Uh mm huh, -hmm. I did. Okay, so why did you choose the course? Um. I think it's because no high school, like I was really into science, of course, that's why I wanted to go to med. But then no high school, I also realized that I was also really interested in humanities. So parang, I felt like psychology would be a good balance between the two. And yung, like I also heard stuff from other people that it's a good pre-med course. So ayun, that's why I decided on psych. Ah, okay, sige. Um, next question, um, how did your course help you naman in your med application, if it did? Um, I wouldn't say that it helped me for sure through the the objective part, but then like I think my experiences in psych helped me throughout the my interview, my essay. Yeah. Okay, sige. So, do you do you, can you think of ano some advantages of your course as a pre med? Oh, um, okay. So one advantage would be that um the curriculum is kind of flexible. So yun, like we had a lot of leeway to take mga physics, mga chem, and other additional subjects which we might need in school. Um, aside from that, some of our specific majors were actually actually gave us like a background for future med subjects. Like for example, um, we had this subject no undergrad no bio psych. So it gave us like a lot of background for kung ano mga neuro uh, neurology, mga stuff we're studying now in CISO. We also had um a background on sensory physiology in our perception class and then I also expect that it will help us um, next year when we take up stuff like pediatrics and psychiatry of course. So oh. yun. Um, aside from that, um, it also gave us a really extensive background of research because like in UP, every sem, my nalalabas kami yung paper talaga. As in, iba -iba, like qualitative, experimental. So yun, medyo nasanay kami with the whole research process, which we need also in med because they were major research heavy time. Mm -hmm. And you know, I guess just overall how it shapes the way you see a person. Because like, I don't know, for me, you can learn all the hard science stuff in med, like the bio, the, bio, the chem, and all of that. But then like, the way that you see a person and like, it's, I don't know, eh, parang the four years in psych really mold the way that you see someone like that. Okay. Um, if there's any naman, may mga disadvantage ba yung course mo as a pre-med, you think? Um, I think 
one of the main disadvantages that I felt going into med with psych was that we kind of don't have a super extensive background on the more applied sciences. I mean, because we don't really have your mom all bio, genetics, and like mm -hmm. um, biochem. So when we got to um, med school, we were lost kami there compared to our batchmates. Mm -hmm. And like, we were lost din kami with our batchmates who came from courses like medtech or nursing because they had actual clinical rotations. But ah. it's mostly in comparison naman, like, to other courses, but none as is. Okay. Um, so, how did you handle this disadvantages naman in med school na? Um, how did I handle it? Siguro, like, whenever there's a concept that comes up that's familiar from undergrad, I would really review it para para may integrate yung mga learnings ko, like continuous siya. And ayun, like, kumara when it comes to stuff like patient interaction or like cases you really have this point of view where you really try to see a person as like more than just a body or like a sickness. Okay. So, how do you see yourself in med school as compared to other pre-meds? So like, basically, from BS psych people to like, yung sinabi mo kanina, mga med tech, ganyan. I would say that psych helped shape my future plans as a doctor in a sense that I want something that um... How do, you, how, do you, how do you explain this? Like, it deals with the holistic healing of a person. Like, kunwari pediatrics where you have to also address like the home environment and like the way they're raised and not just the sickness. Or like, um, kunwari community medicine where you want to address also like the social and psychological factors and not just like the illness. So, yun. Okay. So, second to the last question, actually, would you recommend your course as a pre med? I would, I really would. Because, you know, like I said, kanina, there are a lot of things that you can learn in psych, but you don't get the chance to learn kaagad in med. Um, so, do you have any message to aspiring med students currently in your field? Um, I guess I would just tell them to not doubt themselves because, like, me and my co-psych people in med, we had a tendency to kind of like second guess ourselves all the time kasi because we didn't take up genetics or mold bio or whatever, parang ang bobo bobo na namin, we're so unprepared. But then I hope that the people taking psych now and want to go to med, I hope they realize that um, psych brings something really unique to you as a med student. Like, um, it might not be as outright as the other courses they might not give you the answers to they might not give you the outright stock knowledge to answer exams but they're there like the way that you see Filipino psychology or like mental health mm -hmm. um, the way that people grow and develop that's something that med will not outright teach you at least so far in ah. first year and so it's something that you really have to appreciate and know that it's worth something so basically, that's it. Thank you so much, Catfell. Thanks, JB, for having me. So we want to thank Catfell for talking about psychology as a pre-med course. If you guys have clarifications, questions, or concerns, you can leave them down below. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more What's Your Pre-Med?